I find it so, so interesting when I talk to guys and I ask them, you know, what are their preferences when it comes to women? And I hear this a lot, especially as I'm getting older, that they don't want a hoe. They don't want a hoe at all. But they also don't want anybody that is inexperienced. They want somebody with, you know, a level of experience who have been around the block, you know, two, three, four times because they don't want to deal with the emotional aspect of what comes with a woman who is very inexperienced when it comes to relationships as well as just intimacy overall. And I'm going to be honest with you, when I would hear things like that, it would always used to discourage me and make me feel bad about myself and not feel good or I'm not even qualified enough to be considered a candidate for a relationship because my resume is bare to none. But that's why I always stress the importance of having the right people around you because the wrong people can discourage you and pull you away from the calling and the things that God has for you. But the right people can encourage you so much to hold on and to continue walking in the way that God wants you to walk so that you can become all that he wants you to become and more. The moral of my story today, guys, is to surround yourself with good good, well-intentional people who have your best interest at heart. Stop sharing your vision. Stop sharing your goals. Stop sharing the things that you want for yourself with the people who are not your people and you're trying to make them your people. I know for me, I want to wait until marriage. And because of that goal that I have for myself, I'm only going to talk to the people that I know will help me to hold on in that area and will encourage me to continue waiting on the Lord and not conform to the things of society or the things of this world. I don't know about you, but I love surrounding myself with people who bring peace into my life and who help me to grow. I said this to my friend, if you are in a relationship, whether it's a romantic relationship, whether it's with friends or with family, if these people are not helping you to grow, if you are stagnant, if you are not in a different season of your life than you were in five years ago with this same person, you have to sever the relationship. You have to let it go. And it's hard, especially when there's an emotional connection, but You want to be in a place in life where you're around people who are just going to help you with your vision, your dreams, and your goals. So if you don't have that around you, you really have to double check your inner circle because your inner circle will tell you a lot about where you are going in life.